my name is Anil. Today we will take on a very important chapter that is uh, Imperial Capital of Vijayanagar Empire. So Vijayanagar Empire was mainly founded a place in Karnataka. Uh, there is a place called uh, Hampi where it was discovered. So discover the sir, you need a lot of evidences for that. If you are discovering something, especially in history, then so many archaeological department has to work on it. So first point is discovery of Hampi. Hampi become a very prime center of Vijayanagar Empire where this kingdom flourished. Especially in South, if you take, we have so many examples of so many dynasties, but Vijayanagar Empire was one of the very, very important of it. So when it was founded, it was not founded, we come across with so many sources from where we can tell Vijayanagar Empire was flourished that time. So first point, a lot of things uh, has been found, especially so many inscriptions have been found. Now what does this inscription stands for? Inscriptions are a solid object on which we used to write a lot of things. Secondly, we find so many books, so many literature, especially in South India, which tells, gives a lot of information about Hampi. So Hampi is a very uh, small town on river Krishna, it is on the banks of river Krishna where it was flourished and it became a very strong and powerful empire of uh, South India. So Rayas uh, are the second point, Vijayanagar empire rulers mainly call themselves as Rayas. Rayas are the name which has been given to Vijayanagar empire rulers and this uh, they have done a lot of splendid work especially in South India. They erected so many beautiful temples like a temple of Tanjavur and uh, Bradeshwara temple that also built by Vijayanagar Empire. Mainly this was founded by two brothers Vijayanagar Empire. One was Harihar and second was Bukka. These people were very very important people. They were working in North India but later on they set up their dynasty in South India. They have done a lot of literature also. If you see Vijayanagar Empire, so much literature work has been carried out by South Indians and a uh, lot of literature from where only we can get a lot of information about Vijayanagar Empire. They used to import horses also, horses from Central Asia and some parts of Asia also. So uh, mainly if you see uh, these two brothers have done a splendid work especially to setting up Vijayanagar Empire which we are going to discuss that is government and decline of Vijayanagar Empire. If I call Vijayanagar Empire, it consists, it includes so many states, whether it is Karnataka, whether it is Andhra Pradesh, whether it is Tamil Nadu. So Vijayanagar Empire was including uh, this all states. So Vijayanagar Empire also dominated or ruled by so many dynasties. It can be Sangamas, it can be Tuluvas, it can be Aravadus. There are so many rulers of these dynasties also ruled. But we have very prominent uh, ruler named as Krishnadev Raya. So Krishnadev Raya was a very very prominent ruler. He erected beautiful temples especially and in temple there is a part which we call as a Gopuram. Gopuram is that part where we used to worship God. A God used to be kept there in that part that is called Gopuram. And next one is so this uh, mainly Krishnadev Raya belongs to a dynasty called Durvas and later on uh, this uh, Krishnadev Raya's uh, system came to an end and a new type of uh, ruler from new dynasty came up into picture that is called Arivadu. Arivadu and uh, that time uh, this dynasty also ruled up to 17th century in Vijayanagar Empire but there was a great battle which was fought in 17th century that battle is called Battle of Karikota where three kingdoms used to mix together and they fought against Rama Raya who was the ruler of Arivadu and this way a beautiful empire which started at glory came to an end in history. So we have to tell about our Naikas that was the main center of power which lies in the hands of our Naikas and uh, who are these Naikas? I told you in starting with the Vijayanagar empire the king used to call them as Rayas Rayas are very ha happy to uh, see these Naikas and they give a lot of power to these Naikas which are called Amar Naikas. A very important system which was started in Vijayanagar Empire that is called Ikta system. So we have so many systems of revenue system which was there in India before that. So one system was called Ikta system which was a new innovation in revenue system that has been started in Vijayanagar Empire. 
in this land has been given to नायकास विच आर कॉल्ड अमर नायकास सो लैंड उनको दे दिया जाता था लैंड के साथ वो लोग पूरा टैक्स वगैरह उस एरिया से कलेक्ट करते थे वेदर इट इज फ्रॉम पीजेंस वेदर इट्स अ क्राफ्ट पर्सन वेदर इट्स अ ट्रेडर्स दे यूज टू कलेक्ट टैक्स एंड दे हैव टू पे सम मनी टू किंग सो सो दिस आर कॉल्ड अमर नायकास दे बिकम वेरी पावरफुल एट वन स्टेज एंड लेटर ऑन वॉट इज एक्टली हैपन इन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी when rama rai was defeated badly in the battle of tarikota so these become independent rulers because there was no central authority to control them and that was the reason why powers were distributed among these people so now we'll take on a geographical extent of vijayanagar empire if i say geographical extent then we have to tell some about some rivers mainly it is located on the river tungbhadra so tungbhadra is a tributary of krishna so it's a very very important river on which this vijayanagar empire was erected and big forts were erected on this rivers and they don't have any water resources that time in these areas so if they have to practice agriculture because still today also if you see maximum people are engaged in farming so main occupation of the people are agriculture so that time also agriculture was the main occupation of these people from south india but if they have to practice for agriculture they have to think about irrigation jab bhi main irrigation ki baat karunga to irrigation mein aap logo ka natural way of sprinkling water is called irrigation so water kahan se laya jayega because rainfall occurred only for 2 3 months then they have to think something about the irrigation design to in logo ne tanks banane shuru kiye if you take north india maximum wells are there in north india but in south india we have tanks the reason being why their tax uh, cultivation is carried out in south india because mainly south india is located in that part which is uh, very arid and it's mainly made up of uh, granite to so, granite ka agar strong base aapka niche hoga strong hoga to pani percolate nahi karega down mein and that was the reason why you can set up a good tax so we come across with a very very important uh, tax especially in south india so mainly farmers used to practice these type of agriculture through tank irrigation to aap logo ko bahut sari canals ka naam bhi pata lagta hai and i'm not talking some recent things i'm talking about a very old history of vijayanagar empire so mainly jo farmers the kyunki this area is a semi arid area they used to grow those crops which are called water resistance crops which are called a very strong crops which are mainly uh, grown in that area jo us area mein aapka draw area mein grow hogi जो वाटर रेसिस्टेंट हो जिसमें पानी की जरूरत ना हो बट दे यूज टू प्रैक्टिस दिस टाइप ऑफ क्रॉक्स सो दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ जोग्राफिकल एक्सटेंट ऑफ विजयनगर एम्पायर सो फोर्टिफिकेशन एंड रोड्स फोर्टिफिकेशन आर द मेन आर्किटेक्चर पॉइंट ऑफ विजयनगर एम्पायर सो मेनी फोर्ट्स वेन बी इलेक्टेड स्पेशली इन विजयनगर एम्पायर सो दे वॉज अ पर्सन ए ट्रेवलर केम फ्रॉम पर्शिया इफ आई कॉल पर्शिया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इरान सो हिज नेम वॉज अब्दुल रजाक he was an ambassador who has been sent by a ruler of persia to vijayanagar empire he was impressed by vijayanagar empire's building and the forts he told that there are seven layers of forts inside uh, one main fort so uh, there was a person again one foreign travelers who used to tell something about this the name of that person was called barbosa he also uh, told a lot of things about vijayanagar empire to aapka jo main fort tha that was mainly mortar was used not cement that was the main part of cementing the layers of different forts to aapko forts ko banane ke liye mortar ka istemal hua tha and a big gate was there if you want to enter through this forts the gate was there and it was very very massive bahut bada gate ko erect kiya jata tha on that part aur uske upar ek bahut bada dome banaya jata tha aur ark शेप में गेट्स बनाए जाते थे सो दिस मेथड इफ यू टेक एग्जांपल ऑफ आर्क और वेदर यू आर टेकिंग डोम सो बीजापुर इज फेमस फॉर लार्जेस्ट डोम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बहुत बड़ा डोम बहुत बड़ा पत्थर एक गेटवे पे रखा हुआ है दैट इज इन बीजापुर सो सेम वे विजयनगर बार टेक एन लॉट ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर स्टाइल फ्रॉम टर्किश इफ आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड टर्किश है आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टर्की Turkey is a very important uh, country in Europe, or वहाँ से ये method को they have picked up 
एंड दे इलेक्टेड बिग बिग बिल्डिंग्स इन एंड बहुत बड़े बड़े फूड्स को बनाया इन्होंने आर्किटेक्चर का बहुत ध्यान रखा सो दिस डोम एंड आर्क विच हैज बिन पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम अ टर्किश लैंड दैट इज अ टर्किश ऐसा नहीं है कि ऑर्डनरी लोगों के बारे में कुछ नहीं बोला सो देर वॉज अगेन वन ट्रैवलर द नेम ऑफ दैट ट्रैवलर वॉज कॉल्ड बार बोसा वेन ही केम टू इंडिया ही वॉज इम्प्रेस्ड विद फोर्टिफिकेशन एंड डिफरेंट रूट्स आपके फोर्ट्स के अंदर ही रोड्स होती थी एंड रोड्स गोज टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस फोर्ट्स के अंदर ही वी कम अक्रॉस विद एग्रीकल्चर लैंड ऑल्सो द रीजन वाई दे हैव एग्रीकल्चर लैंड इन फोर्ट्स द रीजन इज इफ एनी वन अटैक दे कैन सेव दम फॉर सो मेनी ईयर्स तो ऐसा इसीलिए एग्रीकल्चर लैंड भी उनका फोर्ट्स के अंदर ही होता था एंड देन दे हैव फॉरेस्ट लैंड ऑल्सो विच इज लाइंग इन दैट तो इनकी खेती करने के लिए अगर उन लोगों को खेती करनी थी तो मेनली दे हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन सो मेनी सोर्सेज दे हैव टू सेट अप वेल्स इन फोर्ट्स दे हैव टू सेट अप टैंक ऑल्सो देन दे ग्रो लॉट ऑफ क्रॉप स्पेशली इन फोर्ट्स इन सिर्फ सो इनका सर्वाइवल होता था एंड दैट वॉज रीजन वाई इट बिकम अ वेरी वेरी पावरफुल तो ऑर्डनरी लोगों के बारे में भी इन लोगों ने काफी कुछ बोला है कि ऑर्डनरी लोगों के घर भी होते थे बट इट वॉज नॉट सो बेग वी कम अक्रॉस विद चाइनीज मटीरियल ऑल्सो वो चाइना से बने हुए बर्तन ऑल्सो वी कम अक्रॉस दैट वॉज ऑल्सो देर इन दिस विजयनगर एम्पायर इससे हमें पता लगता है सम ट्रेडर्स वर देर वो आर क्वाइट कंसिडर टू बी रिच वन इन दिस सो दिस वॉज अ फोर्टिफिकेशन एंड रूट सो विल टेक ऑन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ विजयनगर एम्पायर दैट वॉज रॉयल सेंटर The name itself is suggesting that where king used to live, and why it is called Royal Center, because we come across a place in Vijayanagar Empire which was located in southwest of this fortification, where so many temples were erected, and there was a palace of a king also to be there. Therefore, it is called Royal Center, and uh, mainly uh, so many temples were erected. So, its का कोई pattern भी होगा, its का patronage भी कोई करेगा. so king used to have a pattern for all these uh, systems and he used to associate himself with some deity apne aap ko connect karte the kisi devta se kisi dev lok se taki wo apne aap ko powerful show kar sake so this we come across in mughal kingdoms also hum logon ko aisa mughal kingdoms mein bhi dekhne ko milta hai and they used to connect themselves with some god or goddesses so aap logon ko yahan pe bhi dekhne ko mil raha hai so uh, king used to support them by uh, some temple or koi na koi deity ko apna khud ka pattern mante the and uh, mainly you see we come across with two important buildings one is called audience uh, audience hall and second is mahanavi dibba why this audience hall has been started what what were the reasons behind this we are not clear about it hum logo ko kuch bhi clarity nahi hai audience hall kyu banaya gaya tha iska purpose kya raha hoga लेकिन द नेम इट सेल्फ सजेस्टिंग एट द प्लेस इट सेल्फ सजेस्टिंग फर्स्ट भी देर वर्ल्ड बी ए गैदरिंग बहुत सारी गैदरिंग होती होगी लोगों की एंड देर मस्ट बी दे डिस्कस सम वेरी सीरियस मैटर्स ऑन एट दैट्स अ रीजन वाई दिस ऑडियंस ऑल हैज बीन सेट अप मेनली अगर इसमें आप देखेंगे कार्विंग और आर्किटेक्चर दैट इज मेनली मेड अप ऑफ ए वुड वुड कार्विंग बहुत सारी आपको ऑडियंस ऑल में दिखेगी एंड सेकेंडली देर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेस एंड हाइएस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म विच हैज बीन इलेक्टेड दैट इज कॉल्ड महानवी डिब्बा तो महानवी डिब्बा इज द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिल्डिंग ऑफ दिस रॉयल सेंटर एंड इट हैज बीन इलेक्टेड ऑन वेरी हाई प्लेटफॉर्म दैट वॉज अ रीजन इट द नेम इट्स गिवन महानवी डिब्बा